Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Vinod Kumar Reddy. I'm, uh, today I'm going to talk about full load and incremental load data. What is full load and what is incremental load? In the case of full load, for example, if there is a source table and I want to extract the data completely from the source and load into destination. Every day I will take the data, I will insert or update into the destination. We will extract completely like if there are like in we'll go for full load when the data is like less than a million like that's what we do um, in a production environment let's say what is incremental load incremental load is i want to extract the data only if it is changed or updated if there is any new insertion or new update happened to the existing data only that data i want to extract so how would you do that so normally in any database, um, everyone will maintain a column called updated date. So based on the insert or updated date, we'll try to extract the column. So for this incremental load, we'll be maintaining a table called load control, wherein we will update the information of a particular table, saying like this particular table got updated. Uh, on this particular day. Based on that, what we will do, we will try to extract incrementally and load the data into the destination. And again, we will have to update the load control table based on the data. So let's see the demo in the Azure Data Factory. I'm going to share uh, Azure Data Factory now. And so first thing is, I will show you in the database. I have two databases that is created in the Azure. One is Azure SQL DB. Another one is Azure DWDB. So in the case of Azure SQL DB, I have two table. I have a table called table user, okay? Which got this many data, okay? Like key, name, phone number, and last M. Last M means last updated date. And in the same database, I am maintaining a table control table. It will just have the information about the table and when the data got loaded into the table. Okay, I have created those two tables already. Now I will insert data into the user table. There are four rows in the table. Let's check that. Yes, there are four rows in the table. Now in the table control also, let me check if I have already inserted data in the table control table. Yes, there is uh, data, but I want to update, uh, truncate the data and update the date to other date. So I have inserted the data. Let me check the data now. Yes. So now, what we are going to do, we have a table user which got the data, which got the date column, and we have a control table. So this control table may not be useful for the full load data. So we have another database yeah, called another database called Azure DWDB, wherein I have created a destination table for loading the data. What is the uh, like <laughs> table name here? It is called user data. So let's select this table and see. Yeah, same four columns I have created here. And now we are going to do a full load. So first thing is I have um, created two data sets. Uh, let me create again new data set okay azure sql database source table link service it is present in the sql db and i would like to select the table name Okay. 
select the data set. SQL continue search table maybe let me check the link service connection to which database I'm connecting to before creating the data set Yes, this is Azure SQL DB. And I got few tables here. Yeah, there are tables out here. And yeah, I'm sorry. Source table, SQL DB, Okay, and I will create a destination data set. There's only one table and click OK. Now let's create a data pipeline. So what I'm going to give the name is full load SQL. So now I will take a copy activity and I'll give again a full load. So I will select the source has uh, source table. Okay. Yeah, sync, which is destination. I will use destination table. Okay, and Is a table and there is no store procedure, so I'm not going to select anything in the mapping. Import schemas. So this is what it is map. Okay, that is it. And now we'll try to debug. So it is taking some time now after the debug let's see this is the input this is the output in the output you can see rows red is four rows copied is four and copy duration is five seconds okay and here you can exactly see rows red and rows written to the destination this is the search and that's it now so let's go to the database and verify so if you could see in the destination before there was no data now if i check in azure dw database i should have four rows <clears throat> okay 
that's it for the full load. Now I'm gonna talk about incremental load. So for the incremental load, uh, 